Hey guys, Jessica here, the Friday Family Coach. Thank you so much for joining me today. In this video, we are talking about house training a fully adult grown dog because a lot of times people are adopting older dogs and there are varying degrees of house training that these dogs may have or not have had. Some of these dogs may have absolutely no house training. Others may just need some refresher because they're in a completely new environment now and while that can be really overwhelming and sometimes scary and as as we know if you've been following me for any length of time you know that dogs are very situational so even though they know something is true in one place they don't necessarily know that it's true in the other not to mention again all of the stress and anxiety of being moved around from house to house maybe even in a shelter or a rescue or a foster home we don't know so in this video, we're going to be talking about house training a an adult dog. Here are the three key things that you need to know when we're talking about house training a fully adult dog. Be consistent, be patient, and always use positive reinforcement. We're going to dig into all of that right now. One thing that people do with adult dogs in particular is they treat them like they're humans. So if you have a puppy, you may tend to give them a little bit more leeway because you're like, oh, you're still learning. We have to do better at this, yada, yada, right? But with an adult dog, people, you know, if an adult dog has an accident, people tend to humanize them and say, oh, you did that intentionally just to be mean or because you're mad or despite me or whatever it is which 100% is never the case. Your dog could have a medical condition going on. There could be any number of environmental things ha happening around your dog in, that have, we just don't know. There are a lot of things that could be going on with your dog. They could have just been really super excited and couldn't hold it anymore and it just happened, it just came out. We don't know, they could have been really anxious or really upset, really scared. So many things could have happened where your dog, an adult dog, could have had an accident in the house. Even if you've had your dog for many years and they're familiar with your routine and they know to go potty outside, there are a lot of other factors that could cause an accident. So don't, dogs aren't human. Don't treat them like they're human. Don't think they're doing it to spite you or to be mean or to get back at you. That is never the case. It's really good to know and I hope you take away from this video is that it is really easy to house train any dog at any age. Yes, I'm gonna say that again. It is easy to house train any dog at any age. As long as you are being patient, you are being consistent, and you are using positive reinforcement. Remember back to those three things we were just talking about. So the first thing I'm gonna talk about is crate training your dog. Now, again, if you've been following me for any length of time, I love crates and I hate crates, right? I am not the first person to say we need to crate train your dog um, for any behavioral issue whatsoever. But it is important for dogs to be crate trained because there could be emergencies where your dog needs to be comfortable in the crate. And you might as well go ahead and start, start off and, and use, utilize them appropriately in house training your dog, whether you're getting a puppy or a full grown dog go ahead and get them accustomed and used to being in the crate. But, here and here's the big but, here is the huge caveat. Never, ever, 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 never, ever, 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 ever use the crate as punishment. The crate is not there to be a babysitter. The crate is not there to punish your dog. The crate is not there because you don't want to deal with your dog. The crate is there to be a safe, space for your dog. So proper crate training for your dog is incredibly important and can be very helpful in house training your dog because you don't necessarily want to leave them alone in the house if they're not, or in any room in particular, if they're not fully house trained. If this is a process, right? Having the crate there being a safe space for them to be in, being a happy place for them to be in. Um, it should be a den-like environment, which for all of my dogs has only ever been, like it's their bedroom. They love to go in there, they go in there on their own. I don't ever force them in, I don't ever um, angrily shut the door behind them, right? There are so many different things, I'm not gonna get all into that, but the crate can be a really good uh, useful tool and be very helpful when crate, uh, when 
potty training or house training your dog. I just want to mention one more thing about the crate. It does need to be an appropriate size. You don't want one that's too big and you don't want one that's too small. Your dog should be able to comfortably and fully stand up inside of the crate. Your dog should also be able to fully lie down on their side inside of the crate very comfortably and be able to completely turn around inside the crate comfortably. So your dog shouldn't be crouched at any point in time. They shouldn't be like struggling to stand up. It needs to be big enough, but also not any bigger than that. So the reason that the crate is good for house training, again, if you're using it properly, is because during the house training process, you should not be leaving your dog unattended. Whether you have a puppy or a fully adult dog, whatever the situation may be, you should not be leaving your dog unattended during this period of time. That's what the crate is there for. But um, when, we, when we're talking about that, I really want to head home that if for some reason your dog does have an accident in the house, understand that it is not their fault, that you should have been managing their environment and you weren't. So take a deep breath. Okay, we've got this. We're going to do better next time. Take your dog outside if they need to finish eliminating, uh, you know, going potty, going to the bathroom. They can do that outside. If they do, make sure to reward, like super reward anytime they do go outside. But do understand that if their accidents happen and it's because it's our fault because we were not properly managing their environment. It is not your dog's fault. Another tip is to feed your dog on a schedule. We shouldn't be free feeding anyway, but really try to get that schedule down because a lot of times potty breaks revolve around the feeding schedule. So right after your dog finishes a meal, you will want to take them outside and let them do their business, right? And you're going to want to stay outside for a while. You might even want to take a walk not too long after your dog finishes eating. So really keep a good schedule. Make sure your potty, potty breaks are on a schedule as well. You want them often and to make sure that you have time to actually be with your dog and reward them when you are, when they do the right thing and they do go potty outside, throw a big party for your dog. Really want, you really want to reward them with praise and love and attention. You can bring treats with you if your dog is very food motivated and many dogs are. Um, so all of those things are gonna be great. If you are using food as a reward, you aren't gonna have to do this forever, but do be consistent with it up front. And really being consistent with the praise and the rewards, really reward the good behavior. Anytime your dog is doing something that is desirable that you want them to do, make sure to reward that behavior. And you, you have to be kind of quick about it. So it should really be within just a couple of seconds of it happening. And I, you know, I, I tend to say throw a party, really like really let them know that it's it's a good thing but again, you do need to be, you know, your dog's advocate and a judge of their energy levels. And if they don't like you being, you know, loud and yelling, that's okay. You can quiet down a little bit. Just remember to reward. Reward in a way that your dog appreciates, that your dog loves. Even if it's, you know, petting them on the head and giving them ear scratches and saying, good job, you did such a wonderful job. Dogs respond to that make sure that you are rewarding for the good behavior and being consistent with the rewards. And I'm gonna mention it one more time because it is, it is oh so important. Do not punish your dog for mistakes. Mistakes happen and they are our fault. I mean, th that may be an unpopular um, statement, but it is the truth. If, if we were properly managing our dog's environment, if we were paying attention to them, these mistakes would not have happened. A and also, maybe we missed a potty break. Maybe we were a few minutes late on, in, and your dog has really gotten used to a routine. It is generally our fault and not our dog's fault. But regardless of how you look at it, never, ever, ever punish a mistake because your dog is not going to understand what it is you're punishing. They're gonna think you don't like their elimination and it can actually lead to a lot worse problems on down the road. The best course of action is to take a deep breath, take your dog right outside if they need to finish and they finish outside, reward that, clean up the mess, tell yourself you're gonna do better next time and move on. Another tip is to pick a spot, whether it is in your backyard or a specific, specific spot during a walk, if you live in an apartment maybe, and really 
encourage your dog to go in that spot you're going that's again an, another added layer of consistency and really reward that good behavior but having a spot in particular is going to give your dog something else to understand what the behavior you're asking of them it's going to add yet another layer of consistency and can really take your potty training up a notch another tip and this is going to be our final tip before i end the video is that if you do have a mistake in the house or maybe if you have potty pads inside of the house and your dog eliminates inside of the house either by mistake or on a potty pad you can actually t instead of just throwing that away take it outside to the area that you want your dog to start going potty in that way your dog can smell in that area that okay this is the area like start making those associations so and then when they actually do go potty in that area again reward 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 all right guys so let's just go ahead and wrap up this video i don't want to make it too long just know that any dog at any age can be potty trained as long as you are being consistent as long as you are patient and you are using positive reinforcement i do hope this video helped you i hope you give it a thumbs up for the youtube algorithm and look at the subscribe button make sure you are subscribed to my channel that way you get notified every time i post a new video also make sure to check all of the links in the description specifically the one to patreon I hope you join me as a patron over there on Patreon. It really helps support the channel and helps me to continue to provide you guys with great content. Also over on Patreon, you get new and exclusive content that you don't get anywhere else. Hope to see you over there. I do hope you like this video. Do make sure to give it a thumbs up and I can't wait to see you in the next video. Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you never miss another video.